This is it, you know. This is it, man. I honestly think this is as good as it can ever get. And fuck, it's good enough for me, man. Just raw fucking hedonism. Because I am on top and I will live for this shit. Fuck responsibilities, fuck all that adult shit. And fuck purpose. My purpose is to feel great and trust me, I am fulfilling that purpose right now, so. I'm just gonna go get lost in that sea of people and I know the lads are gonna stink of sweat in Lynx Africa, but you know what, I'll be your mate anyway. And girls, your eyelashes kind of freak me out, especially when I'm fucked up like this, but I still like you. And what's more important is, I think you like me too, so that's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go wander into the mix barely fucking see through these sunnies but I don't really need to I'll just shut my eyes let this tune drown out my thoughts and feel that shit in my bones mate I'll get away with the smoke on the dance floor while the bouncer's not looking. And that's the rush. That's the fucking cherry on top, man. When it all comes together. And I don't even give a fuck about pulling because I got something better. I am riding this wave right now, and I am in a different place, and it feels like heaven. It feels like happiness. And I can't wait to come back next weekend and the weekend after and the weekend after. Because this is it, man. This is it. At least that's what I thought, but it wasn't. It wasn't it. That feeling I described, well, it grew this shadow. And wherever I felt the thrill of the party, I felt the shadow too. Like there was something hanging over me, stopping me from being fully there. And I think it was because I knew it wasn't real happiness that I felt before, but just a cheap imitation. It was just a thrill. And here's the point. I didn't earn it. I manufactured it just like anyone else could. There was no real entry fee. Don't get me wrong, some of it was real, some of it was the realest shit I ever felt, but some was just artificial feels, and if you're lucky enough to be dumb enough, maybe you can get through life never knowing the difference, but if you are cursed with awareness, you might have to leave the party. And so, I left the party, and I'll be back, but I just gotta shift this cloud first.
<laughs> I cannot believe I thought that was it, man. I was so wrong. This is it. This is the pinnacle. Just raw fucking adventure, mate. New places, new people, new everything. And I am just a needle in a haystack. Before now, I was always trying to feel like a somebody because I never knew the freedom of insignificance. And I feel this weird contradiction like I'm beginning to really exist. But at the same time, I am just a nobody. You know, I literally do not matter and maybe that should make me feel scared, but it does the opposite. There's no weight on my shoulders. Nothing I say or do makes a single fucking bit of difference and that is just how I want it. I'm the best kind of lost there is. I'm at home lost, comfortable anywhere and with anyone or with no one. And fuck, planet Earth is pretty sick man, I mean that shit will really take your breath away and that is not just a phrase, you actually feel it sometimes. These moments, it's the awe in awesome. These moments when you're so amazed that your brain just returns a blank and says, nah mate, I don't really know what to do with that. They are moments to live for. And so, I think I'm gonna spend my time just chasing those moments because it's real this time. It's real happiness this time. Not just a rush like before, but this low hum, this consistent feeling that everything is okay and everything is always gonna be okay. And even if it's not, well, that's okay. It's acceptance of now and confidence in the future. I think peace is the closest word we have. Like a peaceful happiness, that's what it is. I think I'm actually content. And honestly, I was. I know it's a fucking cliche, but seeing the world changed me for the better and all that good shit I felt, that still lives with me today. That shit is permanent. But the freshness wore off. I started feeling like I'd got everything I was gonna get from that lifestyle and more of the same was just more of the same you know travel opens up your mind to more possibilities and it opened up mine to the possibility that there's more than travel and i'll keep dipping my toes in you know gotta mix up the scenery to confuse the brain right give it something to deal with every so often keep it open keep it guessing but there's definitely more and i want more Don't misinterpret me, I am not here to tell you that life's not about travelling or life's not about partying. In fact, anyone who does say that just simply does not understand. We're all just scratching our own itch. 
And the point is this, scratching the itch doesn't have a permanent effect. If you sit there long enough, another itch will arise, seemingly in a completely random place. And life is much the same. You just cannot exist without amassing some kind of experience. And as you do, you cannot prevent that experience from molding your psyche. And so, to live is to change. Every day that you live and breathe and see and hear, you change to some small extent. And one day you realize that now you've changed so much that what once gave you a rush now bores you. The goalposts have moved again and the game continues. You have another itch to scratch, another thirst to quench, another thrill to chase. And the goal is not simply to satisfy all these needs and wants until you've achieved it all and have none left. Counterintuitive though it may sound, the goal is to always be wanting, always be striving for and needing more. It is to always have something new to chase. And whilst that might sound like a frustrating game of cat and mouse, that's only because you view yourself as the cat. You are in fact also the mouse so play the fucking game stay interested folks